Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. God, I decrease. And I ask you to increase this morning. God, I ask you to say what you would have the people to know. God, I ask you not to let it be Quinn, but I ask you to let it be God. In the name of Jesus. Father God, I ask you to allow the Spirit of God to raise up in me that the Word of God and the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable unto your sight. We bind fear, we bind confusion, we bind anything except the Spirit of God. God, we ask your Holy Spirit to flow in here like never before, God. I ask you to heal, deliver, and set free, God. I ask you to wrap us in your love like never before in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you and we bless you, God, for an opportunity to share Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 And amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. More than anything, I ain't in this message, but I'm stuck right there, y'all. I'm stuck right there. More than anything. More than my feelings. How many can love God more than your feelings, right? Because sometimes your feelings will make you go to the left. You got to love him more than your feelings. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I guess you say, Gwen. What is all that stuff up there? What is all that stuff up there, Quinn? What is all that stuff up there? It's jars. How many throw away their jars? Do y'all recycle y'all jars at home? Huh? You do? We might be like Progresso. We might be turning to my parents. I save all the jars, right? These jars. These jars. We're going to imagine these jars as barrels. Can y'all change, can y'all imagine these jars as barrels? If I was crafty, like Whitney, I would have took some twine and made it look like barrels, Whitney, but I didn't have time for that, right? I didn't have time for that. But these are my barrels, right? As I was riding Orlando on Wednesday, God says, what's in your barrel? I said, God, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. And I don't want to talk any either. I want to I wanna talk what you say. He said, what's in your barrel? Right? What's in your barrel? These are barrels. Noah said this morning, I don't have no barrel, Miss Gwen. So then I had to say, well, where is your barrel? Where is our barrel? Where's your barrel? You can talk out loud. What is your barrel? Huh? Is your barrel outside collecting rainwater? What is your barrel? Or is your barrel your spirit? Is your barrel your soul? Is your barrel yes. your inner man? Is your yes. barrel your mind? Is this temple of God your barrel? So if this temple of God is your barrel, and you're wrapped up in twine with the little black rims, you know, I think we don't want to call that. I think they took the, they took the, um, what's those barrels Auntie Jeannie had the other day? They took, they took, um, what's that? It's a liquor, like um, whiskey. Yeah, they put them in those real, those barrels and they aged, right? They aged in the barrel and it became like pure, and it came good, right? The longer it sat, the better it got, right? So what are we doing with this barrel, right? What are you doing with the barrel of your body, your temple of God? What's in your barrel, right? So we all on the same path of what a barrel is and that we're yes. talking about this temple of God and what's in our barrel. So the, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The ancient... Um, Chinese proverb says what, brother brother Noah? The ancient Chinese proverb. It's in the email. The ancient Chinese proverb says, "An empty barrel makes the most noise." That's uh, yeah. You hear me, mother? Right. An empty barrel makes the most noise. Right. This yes. barrel got a little yes. bit of peas in it, 
but it making the most noise. I got a full barrel. A full barrel don't make no noise. A empty barrel makes more noise, right? So you're rolling down the road and they say, oh, here come this chatty catty, just running her mouth. Got something to say, but don't know what she's saying, right? What is she talking yeah. about? A empty barrel makes the most noise is what the Chinese proverb says. Don't worry about it, Jacob, right? But as we talk about these barrels, these barrels and what we're going to do with these barrels in our lives, the barrels of our hearts, the barrels of our walk in Christ. What are we going to do with these barrels? We know if we commit our barrel to God, God will fill us, right? If we commit this barrel to God, no matter what's in the barrel at the current time, God will fill us. And not only will yes. he fill us, he will keep us felt. So, Gwen, why would you say that? Why would you say that? Because I read in Kings. So, let's read in Kings. I got some scripture today, just a little bit. And I ain't going to be before you long. But I want us to look at these barrels. Right? If we look at these barrels, and I don't know, um, Brother Noah, if you could zoom up just a little bit so they could see these barrels on Zoom. We got a full barrel. We got a multi um, layered, talented, gifted barrel. And we got a barrel full and a barrel half empty. What are you going to do with your barrel? What are you going to do with your barrel? So we know in the Old Testament, there's a couple of scriptures, right? So we'll first go to 1 King 17 and 1 so you can get in your mind that God can fill your barrels. Y'all see the barrels on Zoom? Take down the scripture a minute. Did y'all see the barrels on yes, Zoom? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Just want to make sure you see that this is a barrel full. This is full of multi-layers. It's a barrel. This is supposed to be the filling trough. This one, the filling trough. Y'all got to use your sanctified imagination with me today, right? And this is the empty barrel. This is us over here, right? If I had time, I'd have printed something that said us, right? But y'all can go with me, right? Because really, God just gave me this this morning, so I ain't had time to print. This is us. We got some, okay. go we got some in our barrel, but we're not full, right? We got something in our barrel, but we're not full. And so if we read in, as, um, in 1 Kings 17, and it says, And Elijah, the Tescabite, who was in the inhabitants of Gilead, said to Ahab, as the Lord God of Israel, Live it before whom I stand. That ain't the right scrap scripture. And y'all know we can mess up in God and keep going, right? Amen. <laughs> we done messed up, y'all. Just hang in there. Keep uh -huh. going. Yeah, we done keep messed going. up. I'm trying to get to the, um, mm-hmm, 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 yeah. So we trying to get to the one, come on, y'all Bible scholars. Oh, it's, it's first King. 17 and 8. 1 Kings 17 and 8. I ain't very far off. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Here we go. And the word of the Lord came and said unto him, mm -hmm. saying, Arise, get ye thee to Zenephra, which belongeth to Zidon, mm -hmm. and dwell there. And behold, I have commanded a widow woman mm -hmm. there to sustain thee. So he yes. rose. And he was obedient, and he rose and went to Zephria. And then he came to the gate of the city. Mm -hmm. Behold, the widow woman mm -hmm. was there gathering the up sticks. Yeah. And he called to her mm -hmm. and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel yeah. that yes. I may drink. And she said, and as she was going to fetch it, he called out to her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, 
a morsel of bread. And she said, as the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel. Y'all thought I was just somewhere to the left, right? A handful of meal in a barrel and a little yeah. oil in a cruise. And behold, I gather two sticks that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat and die. What's in your barrel today, y'all? Yeah, no. And Elijah said to her, fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make me thereof a little cake first. And bring it to me, and after make thee for thy son, thee and thy son. And thus saith the Lord of God of Israel, the barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. What's in your barrel? What's in your barrel? She only had a little in her barrel, but she was obedient enough to feed the prophet of God. And with that, God sustained her barrel. So you can have a little in your barrel, but obey God and do as God said, and he'll never let your barrel go dry. How many got some little bit? My, yeah, sometimes yeah, my barrel yeah, gets man. a little low. Mm -hmm. Whether it's your gas yeah, tank to rail, what, whatever your barrel is today, it gets low. But God will low. keep it your barrel low. full. You will not go lack. You will not. Whether it's your bank account, whether you try to spread it out in five accounts. I put a little bit over here and a little bit over there to make it look like I got a lot. But never will God let any of my barrels go dry. Amen? Amen. Because Amen. I'm going to obey God and I'm going to do what he says and my barrels will not go dry. What's in yeah. your barrel today? What's in your barrel? We know that in Matthew 6 and 19, it reads and it tells us that where we lay up our treasure, Right? Matthew 6 and 19 say, Lay not yourself treasure upon earth, where moth and rust doeth corrupt, and, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up your treasures. Let me get it right. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven, hey, whether neither hey, moth Lord. nor rust yeah. doeth yes. corrupt, and where thieves yes. do not break through or steal, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be. What's yes. in your barrel? Where are you putting your treasures? What are you putting in your Jesus. barrel? So the widow yes. woman, she was going to just die, but she took what was in her barrel and committed it to the obedience of that prophet. And when you commit your ways unto the Lord, what did the Bible say? Commit your ways unto the Lord, and he shall direct us. Commit your ways and your barrel will not go full. What's in your barrel today? What's in your barrel? So we know yeah. that God will provide. How many need God to provide a few yes. things in their yes. lives? Yes. I need a few yeah. things in my uh, life. Yes. I don't know. Yes. Maybe maybe yes. we got it all together. But I need God to provide a no. few things. And it don't look right, Miss Tanisha. It don't even look like God can even fix this. It's a lot. How yes. many know it's a lot? It's a lot. Walter say, you say that all the time, Glenn, you just say it's, it's a lot. Sometimes it's be so much, we can't put words to it. All we can say is it's a lot, right? It's, it was a lot the other day, Terrell, right? It's a lot. It's a lot. But if we look in 2 Kings 7 and 1, 2 Kings 7 and 1, I'm going to let you all know that it can look like a lot, but God will provide exceedingly yes. abundantly above all that you could ask yes. or think. Yes. Yes. Whitney, y'all went through a lot yes. to get where you're at, right? But God provided every step of the way, and yes. not only did he provide every step of the way, he taught you things in between. Uh -huh. He taught y'all things yes. in your process that your daddy learned, right? So no matter yes. where you're going in life, yes. 
It could be a lot, but if we walk the path of God, God is going to not only teach us, but elevate us to another level. Because we learned in Sunday school, Thank if we, you. as we transition, mm -hmm. our faith grows. Yes. As our faith yeah. grows, we transition, yes. right? Yes. They yes. go hand in hand. So yes. here, and I'm just going to paraphrase this. Mm -hmm. Now, these kings got me going back and Thank forth. Thank you, Lord. Right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So here in 2 Kings... Seven and one. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. There was a famine in the land. Mm -hmm. Then Isaiah said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, mm -hmm. Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel at the gate of Samaria, right? And then the Lord, lowercase Lord, on whose hand the kings leaned, answered the man of God and said, behold, if the Lord would make windows in heaven, might this thing be? Who's bold enough to question God? Yeah. And he said, behold, thou shalt see it with thine own eyes, but not eat thereof. Now, we all know the story of the lepers, right? This is what I learned in this, this right here. We all know the stories of the lepers, right? It was four lepers yeah. out there, right? And they say, why do what? Sit ye here and die. Yeah. So then they went to the Samaria camp, mm -hmm. right? And the Syrians was all gone, and they had all the wealth. Mm -hmm. And you're like, Gwen, where are you going with this? Because these stories connect. I never knew they were stories connected that so not only did they gain wealth and they was getting it and hiding, and they said, well, we should let the king know, yeah. right? So then they went back, rung the bell because they were lepers. They let the king know. The king went and got the spoils, right? And then what began to happen? Let's skip down, right? Mm-hmm. Keep going. Let me get there, Right? And if you skip down to verse 15, and they went after them and unto the Jordan, and lo, all the way was full of garments and vessels, which the Syrians had cast away in their haste. And the messenger returned and told the king. And the people went out and spoiled the tents of the Syrians, so a measure a fine flour was sold for a shekel mm -hmm. and two measures of barley for a shekel, according to the word of the Lord. Yes. So not only did the God provide for the lepers, mm -hmm. so you can even be in a wrong situation and God will provide for you. You could be sick and he going to provide for you. Yes. You can almost be out the, out the realm of safety. Mm -hmm. And God will yet provide for you. But if you remember the ways of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Like the lepers, they one of them decided we don't want to be selfish. Mm -hmm. So let's go and let the king know. Let's share this wealth. Yes. What was they going to do with all that? Mm -hmm. But then God says, let me bring my word back to you. Because mm -hmm. he's never going to let the word of his prophet fail. Yes. And the king appointed the Lord, lowercase Lord, on whose hand he leaned to have the change of the gate. Mm -hmm. And the people trod mm -hmm. upon him in the gate. Yes. And he died. And, he and as the man of God said, mm -hmm. who spake when the king came down to him. And it came to pass, as the man of God who spoke to the king, saying, Two measures of barley for a shekel, and a measure of fine wine, fine flour for a shekel shall be tomorrow at this time of the Samaria. Yeah. Samaria, mm -hmm. the gate of Samaria. Yeah. So God will do what he said. He yes, will provide. He will. Yes, he will. So what's in your barrel? Mm -hmm. I'm still in the barrel. Mm -hmm. What's in your barrel? Because if, if the lepers was, you had the widow woman and her son was going to die, right? Because they didn't have nothing but a little. Yeah. You had lepers out there in the bushes 
And they, they say, why sit ye here and die? If we go, they may even take us as prisoners and feed us. But God had a different plan. What's your plan? Are you sitting? Yes. Lord. Or are you moving? What's your plan of God? What's your plan? Are you hearing God? Will you question God like the lowercase Lord? And say, can God open up a window of heaven? Yes. My question to you, can God open up a window of heaven? Yes. Do you believe he yes. can open up a window of heaven in your life? Yes, yes, yes. And if you believe it, guess what? He'll do it. Yes, he can. Yes. He'll do it. So what's in your barrel does not determine your outcome. You could have a little. The woman and her son went. They didn't have any lack. Here, these lepers, they had more. They had more enough to share. They had enough to share, right? What's in your barrels? What's in your barrels? And then you ask the question, well, God, if my barrel is empty and I'm making a lot of noise in my barrel, what do I put in my barrel? What do you put in this barrel to get it to a full barrel, right? It could be full of what? Yeah. What is your barrel full of? What's in your barrel? This is full of pinto beans, and I don't eat pinto beans. How many eat pinto beans? <laughs> no, you can have them when we're done. This full of pinto beans. What's in your barrel? Is it full of hate? Is your barrel full of unforgiveness? The Holy Spirit. Can you have a full barrel and it be full of hell? What's in your barrel today? Right? What do you put in it? It's a lot of questions. What do you put in it? But what you got in it right now? What do you put in your barrel? As we go to Galatians 5 and 22, this is what you put in your barrel. Mm -hmm. This is what you put in your barrel. And if you're not putting this in your barrel, you might want to change grocery stores. How about that? Because sometimes we're putting sugar yes. and this barrel, it got everything in there. It got some flour, got some oatmeal. Yeah. Some M&M's, some, some chocolate, Blake, Blake, I like that chocolate in here. Some brown sugar, some white sugar. It's a lot of unhealthy stuff in this barrel right here. Right? But when we put the right stuff in our barrel, right? When we put the right stuff in our barrel, guess what's going to happen, y'all? We're going to be full of the Holy Spirit, I'm correct. It's going to get yeah. full. Yes. It's going to overflow yes. with the right yes. stuff, right? Yes. With yes. the yes, right Lord. stuff. What are you putting in your barrel today? What are you putting in your barrel? Yes. Galatians 5 and 22 says, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the fruit of the Spirit mm -hmm. is love, yes. joy, yes. peace, long-suffering, yes. gentleness, goodness, Faith, meekness, temperance. What we putting in our barrel, God. Against such these are no law. Mm -hmm. So you can't have yeah. too much goodness. Yeah. Right? Can't you you, too you much. can have, can't have too you much. can't have too much love today. Yeah. Right? Yes, I, yes. The world needs now is what? Love, uh, love, love. Ain't that a song? Yeah. I don't know. I don't sing. But that's you can't put too much faith in your barrel. Yeah. Can you overflow with faith? Absolutely. I would rather this be full of faith than full of pinto beans. Yes, Lord. Right? Full of unforgiveness. Yes. Full of you treated me bad last month. Full of you disobeyed me this morning. What's in your jar? What's in your barrel? What's a barrel, not a jar, Gwen, a barrel. Right? If we, 25 says... 24 says, and, and they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the afflictions and lusts. And if we live in the spirit, let us walk in the spirit. If we live in the spirit, let us walk in the spirit. So what is the spirit? How do we walk in the spirit? Let's go back. Right? Sometimes you got to rewind. And you're going to go back and you're going to walk in love. And you're going to walk in joy and you're going to walk in peace. 
you're going to walk in long suffering because we don't all do it right. How many always do it right? We make it, we mess up. But long yes. suffering says, I'm going to hang in here with you. Yes. I'm going to forgive you. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to hang in here with you. Right? You didn't do me right. You didn't speak to me last month. Long suffering. But I'm going to love you today. Yes. Today. Give us another chance. Yes. Forgiveness. That's what we put in the barrel. Right? So as you think about it, if you look at this like here, you say, oh, God, I need a little bit of love. And you put a little love in your barrel. Right? Oops. Right? So then I'm going on and I'm at my job and they're getting on my nerves, but I'm going to take me a little bit of joy with me. So today I'm going to put a little joy in my barrel. Mm -hmm. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. What else you got? What else? What else you got? Uh Uh-huh. Some gentleness right there. Some gentleness. Oh, goodness. A little forgiveness. Oh, keep pouring. Keep pouring. What else you put in your barrel? Got some goodness. Yeah, grace in your barrel. So if you keep putting the right stuff in your barrel, guess what's going to happen, y'all? Temperance. What's going to happen? Look at the barrel. Mm -hmm. The barrel is full. It's going to fill up. You're going to be full of the right stuff in your barrel. Right? What are you putting in your barrel? Yes. What should you put in your barrel? So you got the answer of what should I put? So how many going to go start putting the right stuff in their barrel today? When we going to start putting the right stuff in our barrel? We know that God is soon to come. But if we keep putting the right stuff in our barrel, we'll meet Jesus. If our barrel is empty, we're not going to meet Jesus. If our barrel is full of all this here bad stuff. We won't meet Jesus. And at the end of the day, I think about if I say, God, if I keep unforgiveness in my heart, I've been serving you since I was 16 years old. If I don't don't forgive whoever, I can call some names. I can call some names, y'all. I call some names that hurt me. I call some names that took my plan of life and changed my trajectory in my life because they did me wrong. Right? If Thank I you. don't have forgiveness for them, right, I'm not going to make it in. Right? If I don't love in spite of, if I don't go over and above to where you say, girl, why you do that? Because I want to make it to heaven. Right? I, I want to make it to heaven. Y'all, how many want to go with me? Because I'm going. Oh, yeah. Right? I'm going. So if you want to go with me, you sometimes yes, have to go over yes, and above. Make the cut. Yeah. Make the cut. Yeah. Because we got to get our barrel full. Yeah. If my barrel is running over with love, whether they received it or not, I'm okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? It, whether they receive it or not. Yes. Yes. We talked about it in Sunday school today. You got to receive the gift. Dad would say, it's their gift to give. So it's my gift to give, whether you receive it or not. God going to look at me and say, at least she gave it. But if you don't give the love, if you don't give the unforgiveness, your barrel is going to be looking like this one. My God. If you don't show the love, even if you don't, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Even if you don't sacrifice yourself. Sometimes to fill our barrel, we have to sacrifice ourselves. Oh, my God, my God. Sometimes it hurts to fill this barrel. Sometimes we don't understand, but our barrel is getting full, and we're like, God, but I don't understand this. I feel your presence, but I don't understand this. Why, God? But I'm going to do what it takes to fill my barrel. What's in your barrel today, y'all? I don't want to look like this. I could be skinny like this, but I don't want to look empty like this. Mm-hmm. You could be looking good and empty. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What good is that? Mm-hmm. Where are we going with an empty vessel? Mm-hmm. My God. We can't go nowhere, y'all. Mm-hmm. It's so yeah. time out yes. that we got to get it right. Yes. We got to feel. Sometimes I get yes, mad and no. I be fussing at Walter. He says, I'm walking in peace. And I'm like, no, I want to argue. He says, I'm walking in peace. So his jar is getting full and my jar getting empty. Right? Because I want to argue at the minute. I'm, I'm being transparent. Right? But if I just walk and keep filling my jar with peace, mm-hmm. right? Because in a minute, his jar full and now my jar empty. I need my jar full. You need your jar full. 
I ain't telling you what to do, but you need your jar full. Yes. And if you're yes. not filling your jar with the right stuff today, you might as well say, we're going to eat, drink, and be merry, because oh, then we die. Hey. Where's that scripture? Hey. Amen? Hey. Amen? Hey. Amen. Because hey. I, when I die, I want to go to heaven. Yes. So at any cost, I'm going to do what God say do so that my barrel will be full. Because yeah. we just told him, God, I love you more than anything. Yeah. So more than anything sometimes takes a dagger in the side. Sometimes loving more than anything, they're going to talk about you. And they're not going to yeah. understand yes. it. More yes. than anything, while I'm filling my jar, means they're going to lie on me. Mother Laura, they're going to lie on me and they say, that Gwen ain't whatever. Sometimes they'll yeah. even say Turk. That Turk, right? Yeah. But I'm filling my jar. Mm -hmm. And that's my jar is between me and God. Yeah. And long as I'm doing what God said, I'm going to love them and I'm going to show them peace, regardless what they give me back, because they're not filling my jar. Mm -hmm. What they give me back don't fill my jar. Yeah. My jar is what I give and what I do. It's what yes. fills my jar. Y'all, yes. I encourage you today to fill your jar. Yes. And as you're filling your jar, remember 1 Corinthians 1 through 13. And we're not going to read them all unless God say. 1 Corinthians. It says, though I speak with tongues of men and angels and have not charity. We're going to read them all today. And have not charity. What is charity? Mm -hmm. Love. Yes. Forgiveness. Mm -hmm. It's the fruit of the spirit. Put them all in there. Mm -hmm. Somebody said it don't take all that. Mm -hmm. But I'd rather, it ta I'd rather take a chance on doing all that and make it in than to say, oh, it did take all that. Yes. Right? Yes. I'm going to do it all. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do whatever it takes mm -hmm. to make my jar full because I want to get in. So though I speak with tongues of men and angels mm -hmm. and have not charity, hey. I become a singing, bra a sounding brass mm -hmm. and a tinkling cymbal. Mm -hmm. You become that loud, empty jar. Yeah. That's what you, that loud, empty jar. Mm -hmm. And though I have the gifts of prophecy mm -hmm. and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith yeah. so that I could remove the mountains, mm -hmm. And yes. I have not charity. I am nothing. Yay, Yay. I am go. nothing. Go. And though I boast mm -hmm. all my goods mm -hmm. and feed the poor, mm -hmm. and though I give my body to be burned mm -hmm. and have not charity, Yay. I profit none. Mm -hmm. It profit nothing yes. for me. Yes. What do we need today, y'all? What do we need today? As we fast forward down to verse 13. And now abide faith, hope, charity. These three. But the greatest of these three is charity. If we have not love today for everybody, if we have not love, for the people on the elevator that you say, good morning, and they look at you crazy, right? So I've been out of town a little bit too much, and you know I like to talk, so I'm going to talk to everybody that I encounter because ain't nobody, my family not there to talk to. So I'm like, good morning. They're like, mm. I'm like, okay, have a great day. God be bless you. We're going to still love them, right? If they talk about you, if they, they do whatever, you got to still love yeah. them. On the job, yes. in your house, you. in your family, you wherever. You, your situation different than mine, right? Yes. You got to love them when they, they shooting you. Uncle Rick said he ain't no pistol no more. When they shooting you with a pistol and you looking at them, and they shooting you, you still got to love them. Yes. You, when you're riding down the road and they, you got to say what? You child of God. Bless you. Yeah. Right? Because we call them a lot of somethings, right? When they yes. cutting on the cutting you off and they, well, yay, what's in your barrel? Because I'm going to say, oh, God bless you, you child of God. 
right? Yes. I'm going to speak it as though it were, right? You child of God, because I want to show love even when I'm riding down the road. Yes. I want to show love even when the people don't know what I'm saying, right? I want God to say she showed love in spite yes. of. Yes, yeah. Because he's yeah. coming back for a ready people. And if we're not ready, he said he's coming back in the twinkling of the eye. No man's going to know the date nor the time, right? We got calendars and we got all these plans. But if your plan is not to see God, and if your plan is not working on filling your barrel, you need a new planner. You need a new planner. The day and the time is coming Amen. that Amen. The, we're going to need God like never before. Yes, Lord. But yeah. it starts with a willingness and a mind to love God's people. If we don't love yes. God's people, we're not getting there. If we don't love God's people, we're not getting there. If we don't love all of God's yes, people, yes. we're not getting there. Like all of them. Yes. Like all of them. Yes. Can I make it any plainer? Like all of them. Right? The ones that, that, that cut me really deep, y'all. Took me a couple of years to get over them. I even seen a girl and God, God got me. I seen a girl and I walked by. Right? I was slap walked by her. And she said, Gwen, were you not going to speak? I said, no. Because she cut me so deep that it hurt really bad. And I didn't want to talk yes. to her no more. Can I, anybody been in that shoes? Am I the only yes. one? Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. God said, you're wrong. You're yes. wrong. Because if Dawn is in heaven, or I shouldn't have called no name. If Dawn is in heaven and you don't love her, you're not going to get there. Hello? My God. All of them. All of them. Yes. I don't even know. All of them. He said, you got to love them all all good or bad you got to love the exes right don't talk to me about exes you got to love the exes oh. right you got to love them all oh god i hear you i yes. hear you god yes lord i hear you god what's in your barrel if your barrel is full but you got down in there some unforgiveness. Can y'all see me my finger in there? If you got some unforgiveness in there and you trying to cover it up like this and you go up to God, you don't think he can see that unforgiveness? It's, but it's behind and in the middle of all these other good stuff. But if the unforgiveness is buried in there, and I just defriended all them on Facebook because I don't like none of them. And I defriended all them on Facebook because y'all know that that says something right there. Defriend, 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 right? To this social media world. If you don't forgive them, God ain't going to forgive you. Down in the middle. I hear you, God. I'm going to friend request some people today. Down in the middle because I defriended some people. Because I was mad and I didn't want to talk to him. I don't want to see him. I don't want to look at him. I don't want them to see me. Yes. But God sees my heart. We got to get it right, y'all. Love. Yes, Lord. Love. What's in your barrel today? Yes. What's in your barrel? Mm -hmm. So that barrel was making a lot of noise. I'm all done. Mm -hmm. and now it's not making that much noise. Yes. What's in your barrel today? Mm -hmm. God is looking for a ready people. Yes. And if you have anything in your barrel today that's not Lord, Lord, right, Lord. Mm -hmm. if you have anything in your barrel today that keeps you from seeing God, Lord. keeps you from walking on those streets of gold, keeps you from going through those pearly gates, yes, I encourage you to get it right. I encourage you to get it right. Get it out. Look, it'll be a, it'll, if I had one lima bean in this whole can. It'll be worth me taking all that other stuff out to get to the lima bean, to get it out. Y'all, we got to get yeah. it out, whatever it is. If it's anything that's keeping you from loving God more than, 
We got to get it right today. Yes. Got to get it right today. All of it, y'all. Hey, yo, she, no, no, mama, my she. Got to get it right today. I love God and I feel God's presence. If we don't get it right, I won't see you no more. If you don't get it right, we might not see our siblings. We might not see our mama and our daddies. Whether we know them when we get to heaven or not, I don't know. I tell you when I get there, right? We got to get it right. You have a whole bunch of good stuff, a whole bunch of bad stuff, a whole bunch of negative stuff. But if you have this fruit of the Spirit in your barrel, you'll see Jesus. And if your goal in life is not to see Jesus, I encourage you to get that right. I encourage you to reset your goals. Because we're doing a lot of stuff for Jesus, and we're doing a lot of stuff for the church. Ah, yeah, amen now for the church, but we ain't doing a lot of stuff our hearts. We ain't doing no heart work, y'all. And if we're not doing the heart work on the inside, we still not gonna see Jesus. Who cares if you clean the toilet, if your heart is dirty? Amen. God is calling for a ready people. What's in your barrel today? If your heart's yes. not right, we're gonna ask pastor to come. If your heart's not right, if you got some things buried deep on the inside that you need God to heal, you can't get it right. And you need God to heal it. Only you and God can get it right. Yes. We're going to ask you to come and ask God to help you get it right. Because I declare and decree that I want to see you in heaven. And if there's anything that's hindering you from seeing Jesus, and if you had to stand before Jesus and he evaluated you like an x-ray scanner, like an ultrasound scan, right? And he just, you know, you go through the, the airport and you got to hold your hands up and the things spin all around you. If Jesus is evaluating your heart like that airport scanner, what is he going to see, right? If you forgot to take your belt off, it's going to say what? Ding, 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 ding. Then you got to go out. And take your belt off. When we stand at the gates, we ain't going to have time to go out and get it right. We're not going to have time, y'all. I saying if I've done anything. Oh, Lord, Lord. God, I ask you to forgive me. Yes, yes, if I yes, offended anybody. Yes, yes. Y'all, I want to get to heaven. Mm -hmm. yes. And I want to see you there. Yes. yes. You have to get it right. Yes. If you need to come for prayer. Yes, Lord. If you need help, yes. God is standing at the gate. Yes, he he's standing at the door of your heart and he's Thank knocking. Yes. He's there to help us get it right. At the end of the day, what's in your barrel? Y'all be blessed. God bless you. Thank you Lord. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Very powerful. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All heads bowed, please. All eyes closed. Zoom family as well. Two things quickly. As First Lady was preaching, the Lord says that you need to be 